my humanness sets the stage for my partner to show up and share love. Right? Like if I was all, let's just say perfect, there's nothing for her to do. <laughs> right? And it's just like relationship dynamics with people. Right? If everyone was just all awake and enlightened, I wouldn't have a job. I, I wouldn't be able to do what I do because it all just plays together. And likewise, the struggles that I go through give me inspiration to share with people. It all goes together. It's balanced already. But you see, my mind wants to say it's not balanced because I don't have what I want. And that's the thing about everything that we're looking for. It's already there. The love is already there. The balance is already there. The harmony is already there. The forgiveness is already there. Peace is already there. I go through periods in my life where I'm just super crazy productive. I'm, you know, working 15, 16 hours and absolutely loving it. I'm taking two hour long hikes every day, right? Like I'm just enjoying everything. And then it flips and it's a struggle just to get out of the house and do a five minute walk. It's like, I just can't do it. And in those times, I see that I'm beating myself up for not taking a two hour hike when really the invitation is, hey buddy, can we go outside for five minutes? Right? Just something small. And then do something small consistently. Rather than comparing it to a different time that I think is balanced or I think is healthy. And just get in touch with, well, what can I do? It's not about what I should be doing. And I think this ties in with concepts of health too. Because we, we very quickly create lots of ideas of what we think is healthy. Like based on our past experience or based on what other people tell us. But I think what is healthy is a moment to moment experience. And you're going to have to find what that is for you, given, let's just say, to, to whatever degree of control you seemingly do have. And so if you're in a space where it's like, gosh, I just can't take care of myself, it's not healthy. Okay. What's a small thing that I can do that would introduce healthy? A small thing. And then can I do that small thing every day for a week? Just the small thing. You see how we like overload ourselves with big things. And then one big thing becomes five big things. And then I look at like over the past 10 years or whatnot, and just all of the worry about too much of this, not enough of that, yada, 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 yada. And yet here I am right now, all is well. I made it. <laughs>